what I want to really point out, it says, let me free you from fear that is hiding deep inside you. What is hiding deep inside you? Is it fear? Is it anxiety? Like, what is it? And so you have to allow God to really show you and um, allow him to get deep within you because we all have some fears but if you pretend that you don't have any fears then you gotta ask yourself why am i not opening myself up as a book unto the lord so that he can show me all that is within me hey 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 we are back again it is october 7 and i just praise god for who he is i praise god that we are doing life together we are being consistent disciplined and focused together every day with the lord doing what he has called us to do amen so we want to get right into um our prayer and then we're going to process information from our self-development resource, Jesus Calling. And we're going to pursue God's word in the home and Christian standard Bible. Okay, got all my tools, got all my resources so that we can have a 4P experience. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we invite you. You have called. We are answering. Move by your power. Move by your might, Lord God. We love you. Speak to our hearts. Show us something that we've never seen before. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So let's go ahead and process information on today, October 7th, and the word um, and our daily devotional states. In order to hear my voice, you must release all your worries into my care and trust to me everything that concerns you. This clears the way for you to seek my face unhindered. Let me free you from fear that is hiding deep inside you. Sit quietly in my presence, allowing my light to soak into you and drive out any darkness lodged within you. Accept each day just as it comes to you, remembering that I am sovereign over your life. Rejoice in this day that I have made, trusting that I am abundantly present in it. Instead of regretting or resenting the way things are, thank me in all circumstances. Trust me and don't be fearful. Thank me and rest in my sovereignty. This is beautiful. And I just think about just the call, you know, the the wooing of God. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Like the wooing of God's spirit. God is wooing us on today. It's like, release all your worries into my care. And it's so hard to let them go. We deal with fear, we do anxiety, worry. I mean, but what, but what I want to really point out, it says, let me free you from fear that is hiding deep inside you. What is hiding deep inside you? Is it fear? Is it anxiety? Like, what is it? And so you have to allow God to really show you and um, allow him to get deep within you because we all have some fears. But if you pretend that you don't have any fears, then you got to ask yourself, why am I not opening myself up as a book unto the Lord so that he can show me all that is within me? God wants to set you free from every fear, fear of rejection, fear of failure, 
fear of loss, fear of not having enough. There's so many different fears, fear of abandonment. There's so many different fears that we have and we don't even know that we are operating or responding based on those fears. But when we let God free us from our fears, that's hiding. These fears are hiding. So ask God, the light of life, which we talked about yesterday, ask the light of life to open up within you, shine his light in you to reveal the fear that's hiding deep within. Will you do that? Will you ask the light of life to do that for you? You don't have to live in fear anymore. And sometimes you don't even know that you're operating by fear. That's the point I want to make. The fear is hiding itself. Ask God to expose the fear and to give you the strength to release it and to be set free from it. Because you, you are an active participant. It's something that you must do. So you must open yourself up Acknowledge that you probably have some fear hiding within you. Ask God to expose the fear and then ask the Lord to give you the strength to release that fear and to increase the trust um, for God within your spirit. Amen. So let's turn to Psalm 118.24. We are pursuing God's word in Psalm 118.24. Amen. And it states, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We are so familiar with that scripture, but are you truly rejoicing? Are you? Do you know that God made this day and he um, allowed you to be present in this day? That he did not put a period at the end of your sentence on this day, that he kept the hyphen line on this day, that you woke up this day, that you received brand new mercies this day, that, that you had access to healing on this day. Do you realize that? So it's our responsibility to rejoice, amen? So that is all that we have on today. God bless you. Mwah.